I suppose I was at Bowles the last two years and uh, enjoyed my two years there. Uh, great memories, but just wasn't really playing towards the end of it and thought probably best I moved on. And then thankfully, uh, Morrow got the job here and gave me an offer, so I was delighted to, to come. You know, I didn't have to think too much about it. I was a massive club, so I was, I was happy to, to come join them. Well, the main aim obviously is promotion. Uh, I think most teams in the league with the with, with the playoffs there as well, second and third place, there's only 10 in the league, so there's probably five or six teams probably saying the same. They want to want a challenge for a playoff spot, so yeah, promotion is the main aim of the season. Working full time, so it's a long off season to be fair. You, you kind of, the first few weeks are nice to you have your rest in the evenings, um, and then especially when you come back now, like. I think I'm leaving my house at seven in the morning and getting home at ten at night, you know, Monday to Wednesday and then Friday home late as well. So now it's it's tough to balance, but once you once you prepare your meals, you're sleeping right and stuff like that, it's once you plan it, you're okay. Yeah, it's been great. There's a good mixture, it's a good blend of uh, young players coming through from the nineteens, uh, young players coming from other clubs, and then some of the older lads as well, like Cone and Dean's been here, Dean Delaney, Del Prendergast, uh, Kilduff coming back as well, so it's a nice blend. If I was to describe my own game, uh, I'd say probably just keep it as simple as I can and just play in the six and just screen their front man, their ten. And uh, once I get on it, just try to keep as little touches on the ball and find the red shirt without trying to overcomplicate things. My first League of Ireland memories really would have been around 0304 when shells were flying and playing against Deportivo La Coruña and stuff like that. So uh, I've always had memories of, of Shelburne being a big club and then. Unfortunately, the last few years, it's kind of been a sleeping giant, I think, in the first division. So hopefully, with the, the new management coming in, the new ownership, there's kind of a new, a new flavour at the club, if you like. So um, hopefully, we can, we can match that on the pitch now. And good performances on the pitch will hopefully get fans back in the ground, because the fans are there. It's just about getting them back into Talca Park. So hopefully, we can do that with our performances.